Hey, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood, Matt. And today we are gonna talk about decorating your sketchbook. So I've been decorating my sketchbooks since, well, since I was a little kid, really, but I've been decorating them seriously since I have been in college. Now, what I used to do, I actually used to create artwork. I would actually draw images right on the outside of the sketchbook. But what I learned really quick, oh my gosh, your sketchbook gets thrown into your backpack. It gets tossed around through the grass when you take it to the zoo, when you're, uh, it gets coffee spilled on it, when you are at Starbucks and you're drawing people there, uh, when you're on a movie set, it gets tossed through the rubble and it gets scraped up pretty good, right? So what I have discovered, by the way, your sketchbook, you know, it's got a lot of notes in it and I actually have... Uh, this sketchbook in particular is filled not as much with drawings. This is more of an idea sketchbook. Look at this. this. There's so much written material and notes and figuring out the order of things, right? This sketchbook actually has, look at this. This is the very first time I wrote down the words Aladdin 3477. And this is when Fidget was going to look like a weird monkey robot. Let's just forget about that, okay? So anyway... Um, you want to make your sketchbook look cool. So what I have discovered that works great is stickers, putting stickers on your sketchbook. The reason why is you still want your sketchbook to be somewhat personal, right? And the great thing about stickers is stickers, it's all the stuff that you get for free. People like hand out stickers at events, sometimes you might be at a convention and maybe there's an artist you really like, like Tara McPherson. I couldn't afford any of her prints when I got this, but she was selling stickers for, I think, two bucks a pop. So I got one of her stickers, right? This is actually for a band. I designed this. Called, uh, it was The band is called Intercourse. This looks like the Gerber baby, but the Gerber baby has its tongue pierced. Um, it's really weird, right? Oh. Yeah. This is my first independent movie, uh, Conjure. It's like a foil sticker. Oh, man, get more of those. I think I'm sold out of those, actually. <laughs> anyway, really cool to collect stickers. And I feel like stickers are cool because, like your, your sketchbook, it's a collection of a, a time in your life. These are all mini pages of your life like that bring back memories. I have a story behind every single one of these stickers, which is great. So what I wanted to do today is look at this, a sheet of Aladdin 34 77 stickers. And James, are you going to help me put these stickers on my sketchbook? Uh, I thought uh, I was just going to use that. And I was like, I'm going to put all these stickers on there. I'm like, Matt, where are you decorating? Dude, <laughs> let's do it, man. All right. So I'm going to start with, I'll, I'm going to do one and then I'm going to have you choose, James, where the next one's going to go. So I'm going to take this red, oh man, take this red star sticker here. If I can get it. There we go. I'm going to put the red star right here. Look at that, right under this pride. Nice. Probot, the Imperial Pride Bot. Pride Bot. All right, James, where's the next one? Where is Lochan Shyamal's helmet going to go? Hmm. We got all this space here in between stuff. Where does it go? Hmm. Let me peel that off for me real quick. I think... Love it. Look at that. I dig it. All right, next up. Jeez. Um, boy. Maybe Fidgy goes. Because he's he's he likes other robots, so maybe he's hanging out right here. Boom. I think, Love the trick, it. I think the trick is wondering where to overlap. Mm hmm. Yeah, because it's already relatively filled. All right, what's next? What are you choosing? Hmm. How about. Let's 
Let's get the little, little Romo over here. The Romo. Widow. Where does Romo go? I mean, these look cute, but make no make no mistake, they're lethal killing machines. All right. Beep. Somewhere in there. Boom. Lotion and the Romo. Love it. All right, I'm going to do Aladdin. And let's do Aladdin. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, him and the princess are pretty long. <clears throat> I'm gonna have Aladdin right here, hanging loose. Oh yeah. So what's next? Princess? Hmm. Taj Mahal. Where, I don't even know where you'd put the princess. You could almost have the princess standing in front of Aladdin, like Aladdin's lurking behind her. <laughs> like a creeper, just watching from afar. You know what? Yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay. Does it look like he's looking, or does it look like he's standing on a step higher? I don't know. All right, I'm going to put the good old Taj Mahal maybe right here. So now instead of fantastic visions, it's like... Antastic visions. Antastic visions. All right, what's next? Antastic Visions is definitely the name Hank Pym could have had for his company. Uh, let's see. I think you could stick the Red Star Sword, like right going up Love here. Love it. So it's kind of cool, you know, it's it's a way because if you, I feel like if you create artwork, it's just kind of difficult because everything's going to get scratched, everything's going to get scuffed, but I feel like stickers are kind of cool because if they get scuffed, it just adds personality and it's not, it's not something you took the time to draw that gets decayed over time, it's just a sticker, but it still shows different things that you can kind of glance at. Other people look at your sketchbook and they're like, oh my gosh, the electric company. Do you remember the electric company, right? All right, I'm gonna grab the Aladdin. Oh man. What? What happened? Oh, I was, at first I thought, Matt, did you make them individual letters? That's so complicated. No, I don't know how that ripped off, but I guess I just went for it and maybe I should have been a little bit, a little bit gentler by the way if you guys want a sticker sheet an aladdin 34 st uh, sticker sheet i'm going to leave a link down below uh where you guys can get these from the aladdin 3477 pre-sale store uh james where else are we putting some stickers here what's next hmm. i think the Seek logo could go right around there. Boom. Love it. All right, next up, I am going to put, let's see, a lens blaster. I'm going to put right here. Just kind of stands out with that wallpaper in the background. Nice. 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 All right, there's two more. What's next? The Grand Vizier Shuttle or the uh, the Lamp of Wisdom? Hmm. I think the lamp could either go right about... Hmm. Right about there. Love it. Do that over... Uh, by Daler and Rowney. Perfect. 
All right, there's one more. It's the Grand Vizier Shuttle, and I'm going to throw that right here, right next to draw, suck a draw. There is the Grand Vizier Shuttle. Look at my sketchbook with all that Aladdin 3477 goodness. I love it. All right, that is my tip for today. I just want to check one other thing out. I'm just so curious. Do I have a blank page in here? I do. What does this look like if you just take this, the rest of this? Ooh, I have an idea. What if you take what's left over on your sticker sheet, if you peel this off, right? If you peel this off, see if I can do this here without ruining everything. There we go. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to Get it straight. Did I leave enough room? Ah, uh, I don't know if I left enough room. Let's find out here. Okay, good, good, good. Ah, uh, stuck to my fingers. Did I, I have enough, just enough room. Okay, so here's the idea. I think this is a great challenge when you have a sticker sheet like this. Boy, these really stick good, because now I can't, huh, huh. Oh, this is gonna be a riot. All right, here is the challenge. You're gonna put your sticker sheet, the remaining sticker sheet here. Now what you have to do, you can use an Aladdin 3477 <clears throat> pen like this that lights up. Now what you have to do is go on the inside and draw all of the images inside. How fun will that be? What? To put them in. Oh my gosh, what a great, what a fun exercise. And it's like, it's got the background already drawn for you. Man. Look at that, the whole sticker sheet came off so you could put it on a page like that with a crazy random, with a crazy random happenstance. Love that. All right, that's the challenge. And if you do this with one of your Aladdin 3477 sticker sheets and you draw everything on the inside, oh my gosh, I can't. And it's kind of easy because it's already got the shape. It's already got the proportions of Aladdin, the proportions of Fiji, the Lamp of Wisdom, the Taj Mahal that floats in the sky. I want to see what you got. All right, Matt out. Go get him, Tiger.